Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Armor. My name is Kia and today I'm going to be showing you my process to diagnose a foil that shows a constant white light when plugged into the scoring machine. Now, please keep in mind that this list is by no means exhaustive, however, it will cover the root causes that I see about 90 to 95% of the time when this problem is arising. There is always going to be other weird and wonderful situations, but I'm not going to try to cover all of those because we'll be here all day. And for this, I am assuming you have already isolated that the foil is the issue and it's not anywhere else within the circuit. So for this, all you're going to need is the foil in question, a body cord that you know works, I'm going to be using my testing octopus because that's what I have on hand, and a test box of some sort. I have this older one from Absolute, but any of them are fine. Go ahead and plug in your foil and we'll get started. Now, if you recall from my video on how a foil circuitry works, they actually have an interesting one in that their base state is closed. So if the, which means when you plug it into a test box, the light should come on immediately and hold steady until you depress the tip. So if the light is staying on constantly, we need to look for areas in the circuit that would basically be making sure that this loop stays closed the entire time. Now, with any diagnosis that I do, in order to make sure that I am looking at everything properly and not inadvertently missing something because I skip over it, I'm going to start at the tip and work my way down to the connector end. Now, the first and most obvious thing that could be causing this issue is if there is no more tip button. So obviously you cannot depress the tip and open the circuit if there's no tip button in there. So if that is the case, if you look at your foil and there's nothing in there, a very quick and easy test to see if that is the problem is to grab a new spring and tip and while plugged into your machine, just insert them and depress them. You don't need to put screws in just for this quick test. And if the light goes off and comes on when you release it, then that is most likely the problem. And all you need to do is screw that in. Though I will recommend if you already have the tip out, just taking a Q-tip and acetone and cleaning out in the and cleaning out the inside of the barrel, just because that's a good general maintenance trick to make sure that it stays working fully functionally. Then you can just set in the new tip and you should be ready to go. Now, if the tip is still present, I will at this point remove all of the tape so that I can see what's going on underneath it. And I am going to try r rotating the barrel. Like if the barrel is loose, it could be that there is an issue with the wire underneath it. So if I can rotate it just by hand, I'll know that I'll need to tighten it down. And if I can't move it, it's you can try, but that's not likely to be the issue. Now, just a note for when you are tightening the barrel is you must be really, really careful. This is not a permanent solution and all it does is buy you time until you will have to rewire the foil. Basically, if the barrel is loose and is causing issues, it means that the movement of the barrel has compromised the insulation of the wire underneath. So in the case of a constant white light, it has become so compromised that it is constantly touching the side of the barrel and grounding itself out. Uh, so tightening the barrel may move it enough to disconnect the two from each other and cause it to be insulated just by space. However, basic movement of the foil will likely cause this to contact again and the only way to really truly solve this problem is to rewire it so the insulation is no longer damaged. But tightening the barrel may get you through practice, may get you through a couple more months, may get you just a little bit more time until you can actually take a break and rewire the foil properly. So beyond all of that, if I haven't already cleaned the tip out because the button was missing, that is my next step if the barrel does not seem to be loose or if I've tightened it already, is I will just remove the screws, open up the tip, and I will swab around the inside of the barrel as well as both the screws and the tip button interior itself to make sure all of those are perfectly clean. Any, It is very common for dust, dirt, gunk, sweat, all sorts of uh, icky things to get pulled into the barrel just by the movement of the button. 
and all of that will cause all sorts of interference with the circuit. So you just want to make sure that that is all kept nice and clean so that the foil keeps working as best as it can. At this point, if my foil hasn't been plugged in the entire time, I will go ahead and replug it in to see if any of these solutions have fixed the problem. Uh, or in the case of tightening the barrel, if I've just completely broken everything and the wire now needs to be replaced anyways. If nothing seems to have changed though, it is time to keep looking further down the blade. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and remove any remaining old tape as we're going to be able to need to see underneath it for this next step. Basically, you're just going to look all the way down the length of the wire, preferably in really bright light so that you have the best visibility possible. And you're gonna look for anywhere that the wire is popped, stripped, broken, in any way disturbed because that will indicate somewhere that the, again, the insulation has become compromised and could lead to grounding out, or in the case of the wire being broken, just there's no circuit to complete anyways. However, if you don't see anything there, it is time to move on to the final area around the handle. So the final area that I look at is underneath the pad at the wire into the connector. So first thing I'm going to look at is where the wire attaches to the connector itself and make sure that there's no excess wire sticking out from inside the connector. Because if that's the case, it could be contacting the other pin, the, hand, the holder part of the connector, or even the bell guard. And that connection could be what's constantly triggering the light to stay on as it's just grinding it all out. So if that is the case, all you need to do is remove that excess piece of wire, trim it off, and make sure that everything is nicely contained where it should be. However, if that doesn't look to be the issue, I will then look where the wire has come out from the bell guard, where it meets the handle, and just going to make sure that that hasn't gotten pinched inadvertently. Again, if that happens, the wire could be broken or and or the insulation compromised. In either case, that will mean it needs to be rewired so that that insulation can either be repaired or the wire itself will need to be repaired in general. So those are the major areas of damage that I see that could cause a white light to be constantly on. Uh, there, like I said, this is not an exhaustive list. And there may still be weird and wonderful things otherwise that you can keep looking for if none of these uh, explanations that I presented seem to be helping. However, if you really are stumped to find anything, it could just mean that you need to do a rewire and the brake or the damaged insulation is simply hidden somewhere that we can't see. So at the end of the day, a rewire will probably solve the problem. It's just annoying to have to do that. And that is diagnosing a foil with a constant white light. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know down below. See you in the next one, bye!